Good evening, I'm Jackie Spate. The China Railway 5 company has been given an ultimatum. Register and pay the FMPF contribution of its local workers by November or face closure. The workers had lodged complaints against the company for its failure to deduct their contributions to the superannuation fund. Mika Longa with this exclusive report. Water Authority of Fiji CEO Opetaya Ravai is disappointed at the Chinese Railway 5 company saying this isn't the first time the Asian contractor has failed them. We once uh, put in a stop work notice because they're not complying with safety issues. If you stop, once you comply then you can uh, start work again. Uh, so we, we are pretty serious with what we are trying to do with them. Chinese Railway 5 is contracted by WEF and Ravai okay. says under the contract the company is obligated to respect the laws of the country and abide by its rules. We're telling them, you know, you can't do this, you know. Uh, you can come and work in Fiji and not abide by the laws of the land. Eh? Ravai says despite the company facing problems on the ground, it is not an excuse for it not to pay the FNPF contributions of its local workers. If they continue to willfully um, not provide FNPF deductions for their employees, which are, who are Fiji citizens, by the way, then they will be taken to task. We, we have no doubt about it. The Chinese Railway 5 company has only started okay. registering its workers, about 30 of them, and has started paying their contributions to the FNPF. WEF has given the company until next month to register and pay the contributions of the remaining 90 workers or be penalized. Possibly. That's very possible. Workers rely on the FNPF to sustain their livelihood upon retirement. The World Authority CEO did not mince his words that companies, irrespective whether local or foreign, must obey the law and do the right thing for local workers. Mikalonga, FBC News. Families in a squatter settlement in Omkar Road got the shock of their lives when an earthworks machine moved into the neighborhood yesterday. The site is being dug up to make way for new water and sewer lines. However, one family that's worst affected says they have nowhere to go. This large earth mover is digging on government land. All these houses are informal structures with no proper lease. This is part of sewerage line upgrades in the area. We don't know what to do now because my father has gone fishing and my husband has gone to work. My mother and I, we are at home with my children and uh, we can't do anything now. As the machine went on, it got closer and closer to the home eventually exposing the pillars on which the structure stands. All this while, there were people inside. My children, they are quite scared of uh, what is going on at the moment. And uh, what can I do? I, I can just step back and just look and see what is going on. BB admits they were handed a notice in March this year, telling them that they have to relocate because there were earthworks planned in the area. The notice from the Lands Ministry says if the family doesn't comply, they won't be considered for allocation of housing lots once this area is developed. We made calls to the Office of Director Lands, Mosese Tangida Kimbao, but as of this afternoon, there was no response. FBC News also approached Director Housing Colin Yombola. He said he needs to check with engineers as to what exactly happened here in Omkar Road before making a comment. The family, meanwhile, remains in the house hoping for intervention. Edwin Nunn, FBC News. Students of Morris Brothers High today traditionally apologized to fellow colleagues of Suva Grammar School for the saga which attracted national attention. The rivalry between the two schools is now put to the past and lessons have been learned. Wasito Kotoi Wasawasa was at the reconciliation ceremony. It all came down to decision making. While teachers of both schools expressed their concerns for a healthy rivalry between the two prominent schools, students were urged to try and learn from the whole saga. So I'm just requesting, you know, the things that you do should maintain that reputation instead of tension. And I hope that this reconciliation process is not just a, a, a show where, you know, we try to impress people. But what we should be trying to do is to impress ourselves on the fact that we want this to work. Okay? We want this to work. Suva Grammar School Principal Waisake Ravatu apologized to the Fiji Police Force for the time and energy spent in trying to end the violence. After the event, we are always carrying two buckets with us. One is a bucket of water, 
one is of fuel. And whenever there is a fire, we make a choice as to which we use. And I believe, had we gone for the bucket of water, we would not be here today. Meanwhile, Director Police Operations Senior Superintendent Mariti Nongiolevu says what had happened was really ugly and hopes it will not be repeated in the future. It is not worth the effort. It is not worth the effort. Secondly, it does not all go well with the values of both schools. Number three, it does not bring good reputation to our families and to our schools and to our teachers. Authorities remain hopeful that the reconciliation process undertaken by both schools here today would mean an end to the saga which took place a month ago. Vosita Kotiwasuasa, FBC News. A Tamil movie with an $8 million budget is currently shooting in Nandi. It's the latest in a list of other movies that have been produced in the country so far this year. Christopher Chan reports. We have heard of Hollywood and Bollywood movies being filmed in Fiji. Well, this is Hollywood, which is referred to Tamil cinema. They have an A-list cast and locals getting exposed to the film industry. This is the seventh movie that we've hosted this year and it's good. It's um, continuous business in terms of filmmaking in Fiji. And uh, the particularly good thing about this movie is it's uh, not just going to be confined to, to Nandi and Latoka. The movie is called Nadi Tudi Kutadi, meaning the heartbeat of Nandi, where the movie is being shot. This was the official clip, the start of the movie production. And uh, by offering this rebate, government has uh, given producers an opportunity to, to come and make films in a very, very beautiful, unique, um, uh, virgin location. The 47% rebate being offered for producing movies is attracting more cast to our shows. You weigh that against the, the benefits. You give the refunds, but the benefits, the multiply effect of that. Eh? You know, you see the old ladies, uh, the young um, uh, actresses that are there that are dancing on the floor. You know, they are here, they are paying hotel bills, the taxi, the tour operators, the food, the service providers. The this movie is about a love story and will be shot over the next 45 days. It's surely putting Fiji as an attractive movie destination. Christopher Chan, FBC News.